Now, one other team who had one of its best seasons in school history was the UMKC women's basketball team. The Roos won the program's first ever regular season WAC championship, but didn't get a chance to live out their NCAA tournament dreams. Head coach JC Hoyt just wrapped up her third season at the helm for UMKC after serving in as, as an assistant coach at Kansas State. Today, we caught up with Hoyt for part one of our conversation to take a look back on the Roos historic season. It has been a wild couple of weeks for you and for your program. It's obviously been an emotional roller coaster, but um, how are you and how is your team holding up with the fact that you guys would have gone and played in an NCAA tournament for the first time in school history and you kind of get that stripped away from you? Yeah, I mean, you're absolutely right. It's been an emotional roller coaster. Um, everything, I mean, even even with us clinching the regular season conference title, you know, that just happened a week a few days really before we left for our conference tournament. Uh, and then, like you said, you know, um, planning to go play in the NCAA tournament and, um, and then just even a few hours after that, finding out that that was not the case anymore. So um, the first couple of days were really rough. And now as things are kind of settling in and, and I think we're all processing um, it's really given great perspective on just what's really important in life. And, uh, you know, we we have our health and we have our safety and our team still loves each other tremendously. And so we're, we've really just um, I think it's actually made us closer in, a, in kind of a weird way. What, what were you guys telling each other? You know, because now you have those seniors like Erica Mattingly who now move on to a different part of their life. Do you guys will you stay in, t in touch more? Do you are you able to relate at an emotional level differently? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, first of all, to do, I mean, nothing takes away the fact that we still made history. We still won our, our regular season uh, right. championship. And um, so that does not change. And that's what really my biggest message to the team was, was guys, we still set out to do exactly, you know, we, we still did what we set out to do. And right. so um, we still have that. And, and the girls have been really cute, you know, talking about getting rings and stuff like that. And um, so I think that it's important to keep that in mind and hold on to what we did, you know, do already. Take me back through clinching that WAC championship for the first time in school history, getting a chance to cut down those nets. I thought the best quote from you after the game was, you know what, guys? We sat up here and we practiced having this press conference and now we're up here really doing it. Relive that for me and how special that moment was for you and for your girls. Yeah, you know, it's so funny because um, I d it didn't really even hit me that we had practiced that several times until I was up there. And uh, and then it all came, you know, flooding back to me. Um, so, I, I mean, it, from from day one, um, my staff has done an amazing job. We had a vision. Uh, we we labeled that vision the ring team. And uh, we, you know, we, we hashtagged it with everything that we did throughout our recruiting processes. Um, that was the vision that we sold. Um, all of our recruits, the Erica Mattingly's, the Joan A. Johnson's, everyone, you know, who's a part of our team now. That's what we said was, you know, hey, let's come here. We'll make history. We'll do something for the first time that has never been done. We'll hang a banner that's never been hung. Um, and, and we're here to to win rings. And I think a, a lot of people thought we were crazy because it had never been done. And I mean, shoot, that first year that, that I was here, you know, we got picked. I think eight out of ninth in the conference yeah. and, and that that's our reality. That's where we were. And um, so I think people thought we were crazy, but um, it was so fun. Just it's been a process. It's been a three year process. And to now kind of put it back on everyone else and say, we told you, you know, now we <laughs> actually are the ring team. That is so cool. Well, you mentioned Erica and obviously I've had the blessing and the pleasure of being able to cover her since she was in high school. But how much did she bring to this team and how special was it for her to have a senior year like this? I mean, Erica put us on the map, you know, and I say that um, with complete acknowledgement that it, it's a team game. But Erica has been a huge piece of that. And I talked to her all year long, you know, and just said, E, uh, you're our Patrick Mahomes. You know, you're you're what makes this thing tick. Look at what he does. Look at how he talks to his teammates. Look at the accountability. Look at um, just the way he's constantly striving for excellence. And so, um, I mean, it, it's been you know, 
it, it's been really fun because I think so much of, and obviously totally different scales, right? Where we didn't win a Super Bowl, but it's all relative. So yeah, um, exactly. So, you know, we, we talked about them all year long as a team about kind of the way that they ended their season last year and the way that we ended ours in a heartbreaking fashion and kind of had that unfinished business motto. Um, and so when, when they won, that gave us so much life and energy that they will never understand. Um, but Erica was our Patrick Mahomes with that all year long. So it was fun. It was fun to follow in their footsteps in our own little way.